Well, Mr. Kowalski, I assume you're wondering why you're here. Relax, Mr. Kowalski, relax. Everything will be explained in due course. Oh, and I just must tell you that this conversation is being recorded. Is this a problem? Ah, uh, good. We're beginning to understand one another. Now, where were you, what were you doing yesterday at 8 p.m.? Why? Why are you asking me this? Just answer the question, please. Well, I was working. Working? Working, yeah. I was, uh, writing an article. Ah, yes, that's written here. Journalist for a popular, well-read magazine. Reader's Digest. Puerile shit. Not really my taste. What the fuck does this have to do with anything? Why are you keeping me here? By what right? By the Patriot Act. Huh? Just relax. Take a few deep breaths and relax, Mr. Kowalski. That way you'll be out of here a lot sooner. What was the article about? <laughs> you want to know what it was about? Call the office. Besides, they're probably wondering where I am right now. Let's make one thing very clear. I've been lenient up until now. But if you don't answer my questions, I shall see to it that you are sent to a cold, dark place for the rest of time. This is absurd. I'll make the judgments here. Just answer the question. I woke up about nine. I ate a bit of breakfast and I um, had a shower. Oh, let's see. Uh, I went to the toilet with a magazine, beat off a couple of times. Sarcasm will get you nowhere, Mr. Kowalski. You know I've got friends in the government. You're not going to get away with this. And neither will threats. My superiors cannot be intimidated. Look. Look. Would you please just tell me what the hell this is all about? Jack Sullivan, chief editor of your popular well-read magazine, said, and I quote, Kowalski is a cash-minded son of a bitch. He cares more about his wallet than he does about his colleagues. Where'd you get that? Would you say you are an honourable man, Mr Kowalski? Do you think that you live a good life? What the fuck are you talking about? Because these people would have me believe that you are one crooked little bastard. What have you done with them? What do you care? What have you done with them? Do you love them? Are you loyal to your wife? I heard you've been through a little bit of a rough patch. Is it better now? Of course I'm loyal. I love my wife. What kind of a fucking question is that? I've had enough of this. I demand to talk with your superiors. Do you remember your last vacation? Uh, Tunisia, wasn't it? Did you take your wife? Did you take your daughter? I was there on business. So, fucking a 19-year-old girl constitutes his business, does it, Mr Kowalski? We know how much you earn each month. We know you're cheating on your wife and have an unwanted child from a previous relationship for which you are paying alimony. And we know about your secret bank account, which your wife knows nothing. We know everything. Every little detail of this stinking little shit pile you call a life. What do you want, then? A confession. Simple. It can be our little secret. You have two options. Confess everything, leave this room a free man, and you have my word, the truth shall not leave this room. Or 
we can give Kelly a call. She'd never believe you. Trust me, I can be very convincing. Please, Mr. Kowalski, you should make a decision. Time is not on your hands. No way. Now, what was the number? Oh, seven, eight, three, two, one, four, four, three. All right, I'll do it. Just hang up that fucking phone. Too late. Please, I'll do it. Just put it down. Just put it down. Fine. You want the truth? I'm guilty. I'm fucking guilty. I keep on trying to change. I really do. But, but I can't. I'm cheating on my colleagues at work. I'm cheating on my wife. I'm a fucking prick, all right? Enough? You satisfied? Oh, you want to know more? You want to know how good she is in bed? You want to know how well she sucked me off? No, 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 Mr. Kowalski, that's fine. You've done very well. I shall have someone untie you and show you to the exit. Three on three. Okay, back to four again, please. 